What's good fam? Welcome to your daily PSA. The Black Nana Speaks. Everybody, this is a non-K-pop related video. So yeah, as you can see by the title. The 2013 Billboard Music Awards ugh, recap. Y'all, the shade that was given last night, the shade that was thrown, the thirstiness, the saltiness in the air, Oh, we, it was beautiful. Now, Tracy Morgan was the MC for the night. Tracy got thick. Y'all remember Tracy Morgan for the Tracy Morgan show, SNL, um, 30 Rock. And he was also Hustle Man and Martin, you know, Hustle Man. Oh, I love Hustle Man. But anyway, you know, he got skinny, but he got thick. He went back to his Hustle Man days, but he was funny. I liked him. He was... <laughs> he was just, you know, everywhere, giving me life for the shit he said, but I loved it. But let's get on to it. Now, you know, Cy came out there, and he was presenting a war. Then Tracy Morgan ass comes out there in a yellow suit, like, UJ suit was in the video, and it was hilarious. And, <laughs> and Tracy Morgan was like, I love it when two thick grown men was can able to dance with each other. I was like, this shit right here is giving the Nuna some badass life. I was like, I was loving every minute of it. And I thought it was pretty boss that Cy was getting nominated for rap awards. You know, folks was like, what? I'm like, hey, hey. Hey, he deserved it and he earned it okay he earned those nominations I was like get it boo but anyway let's talk about the good shit so you know Miguel right oh his ass is finer than a motherfucker came out there you know panties is melting bras is dropping girls is like you know juice boxes is getting wet and shit this motherfucker decides to jump off the stage like he's some damn like I don't know what the fuck he's doing hits a girl right in her face. I'm talking about she literally ingested his shoe. Like, if I could do that shit in slow motion, I would. I, there is a gift on Tumblr. If anybody has it, please send it to my um, Twitter so I can laugh at it hard. I'm talking about it was hilarious because the the blonde chick right, like, on his, let's see, on his left was like, ooh, the, so, man, man down, man down. The dude was, I was like, dude, dude, she, she dead, she dead. Miguel was like, fuck this, I gotta do my shit. I was like, this girl. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't think she would get up. I was like, somebody call 911, please, please. Ooh, honey, you better pay her medical bill quick. She gonna sue your ass. She knows you make them. I hope that girl alright. I'm talking about she ingested, not ate. She just ingested the shoe and just, just, just went all in her guts and digested through her digestive system and everything. I was just like, mm-mm. Hell no. Ooh. Ooh, mercy her. I hope she all right. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Taylor Swift came out there. I'm not a big Taylor Swift fan, but she threw the ultimate shade last night, girl. She said her fans are the best, one of the best relationships, best and longest relationships she ever had. I was like, shade has been thrown. I was like, oh my God. I thought Mariah Carey was the queen of shade. You, you coming up there, girl. I was like, damn. Somebody ball sack is like hurting somewhere. I was like, ooh, girl. Mm-mm. But I was also like praying for all the men she made in contact last night. I was like, please, any dudes that meet Taylor Swift tonight, please have mercy on their clean souls. Because they might have to go to the clinic later on. I was just like, whatever. Y'all, this is the shit that had me cracking the fuck up. Now, you know, Justin Bieber came out there, right? You know, he was looking all right, whatever. You know, he getting a lot of body, but, you know, Justin Bieber has been looking like he's been like high on some shit lately. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm like, listen... I'm 30 years old. I've seen so much shit in my life. I used to be the biggest pothead on earth. And I know when somebody is on that shit, he is on that shit. And he need to put it down because weed is not for everybody. No, no, no. Don't stand here and be like, weed shouldn't be for everybody. No, weed is not for everybody. Okay. And it's not for him because it's just like, it's just not for him. He's just on some other shit. I mean, I was just like, dude, for real. But, um... He got he got one one award, and when he won that award, they put that camera right on Selena Gomez's face. I was like, that shade right there, straight up fucking shade. If I ever seen it, now that was Billboard Music Awards, 
bullshit for doing that shit. They was too thirsty. That was messy, but it was hilarious. Now, second time this motherfucker won the war, they booed the shit out of him. Talking about, he was talking about, I am not a gimmick. Dude, just get the award and run. I would have felt bad. I'm like, dude, I would have went somewhere, checked in somewhere, and cried for at least 10 days. You know what? As much as Justin Bieber get on my nerves, he's making hits, and he's making his coins, and, you know, he's doing his thing. But, but, along the line somewhere, he is too young to be fucking up and acting like a damn douchebag. Now, for real, you need to stop acting like that. And, you know, I know Chris Brown's, like, stands are crazy, but believers are fucking crazy as shit. So, despite what all happened last night, you know, they still gonna have that brother's back. So, I'm just like, I feel bad for him. I was like, damn, for real, y'all? I don't know what happened. I don't know the situation because there was pictures of him sitting next to Selena and shit. And she was just like, give him a side, like, nigga, girl, get away from me. Like, I was like, what? And then, let me tell you, let me tell you some shade that was thrown last night that I fucking just live for. Kid Rock came out there and said, let's give a hand for all the lip singing going on tonight. I was like, ooh. I don't know if he was talking about Selena Gomez or Chris Brown. But I was first, I was like, you know, okay. Ace just looked like double-edged sword thing with me with him. I don't know if he was thirsty as fuck or he was pressed because he wasn't, he was, a, he's irrelevant. He's been irrelevant in the music scene for a long time. But at the same time, you know what? I have to give him props for that statement. Because as an artist, when you come out singing live, motherfuckers want to see you sing live. Who, who the fuck wants to hear a pre-recorded shit coming out? I don't like that shit. I'm like, that's telling me that, okay, you just don't give a fuck about what your fans think. And you're just going to sing in a microphone and just like that. Don't do that to people. Now, I understand this point. Now, I do give him respect for that. Like, respect, Kid Rock. But at the same time, like, he was just pressed and thirsty. And he dropped that mic. I just like, damn. That was some cold ass shade right there. I'm talking about, woo, that, that froze me. And, and get this, I'm just trying to figure out why the hell he came out with a camouflage vest on and he had a teacup in his hand. Now the cigar, that's his, that's his signature. But the teacup, like, what is in that teacup, bro? What is in the teacup? I was just like, whatever. But that shade right there, you know, it was a, it was a catch-22 thing. It was like, damn, you thirsty. But at the same time, brother had a point. Respect, Kid Rock. Respect. Alright, that twerking shit that Nicki Minaj did last night, you know Nicki Minaj has like this, I don't, her ass is just like, what? And she was twerking a little bit. I was like, what? Twerking, I was like, twerking hard and Lil Wayne was like, you know, somebody got a boner. I was like, what? I got scared when Lil Wayne came out. I was like, please don't let him have no seizure. I got scared. I got scared for the brother. Don't tell me y'all not the only one that thought that shit, because I did. He came out there. He didn't have a styrofoam, styrofoam coating Kool-Aid cup of shit. I was like, where is it at? That should be. Yeah, I felt bad. But he looked, he was, I was like, whoa. When she, the lap dance, I was, can this happen on TV? I was, what? And then I started thinking deep, deep down to myself. I'm like, we black people will never get the respect we have in America. America, excuse me, in America for this shit right here. But I kept watching it because I love ratchet shit like that. I was like, ratchet. Ratchetness. I was, I was, I was excited. I was like, yes. I knew. I was like, yes. I was. It had me just. I would love it. The band Perry, right? I love those guys. I'm not big into country music. There's like a couple of people I like, but the band Perry came out there, and I was. They gave me everything with their performance. When they did the drum solos at the end, I'm talking about that shit was way up, turned up tight. Okay? The performance that fucking made me laugh was Justin Bieber's Will and My Performance. Because he looked like a futuristic Amish black dude. I called it before Tracy Morgan and I was like, this nigga looks like an Amish guy. I was just like, what? I mean, I was so proud of David Guetta. He, he's with a sister. I was like, you better get it, girl. I, I was just, I was, it just, I was excited. Madonna, I don't know what the fuck was up with that, you know, S BD, SMM outfit she had on. But girl, her legs was giving me life. I was like, she is her 50 and her body was looking like that. Face beating everything. I'm like, girl, what? You better get it. Yes. Ooh, Kelly Rowland came out there looking. Her face was beat and snatched. 
And the dude that was next to her, what was his name? Mahoney, Aaron Mahoney, I think. Y'all, for somebody being 17, I will take him in the back and show him where it's at. He was fine, girl. Ain't nothing wrong with having no jungle fever. Fuck that. I know what it, what it is, but he was he was delicious. Oh, what else went on last night? What else went on last night? I'm trying to figure out what else went on. Hmm. There was this picture backstage of Justin and Selena Gomez like hugging each other and kissing each other on the cheek. Now that shit was hilarious. I'm gonna put the link down below because I follow Perez Hilton on Twitter. There is a gift of them kissing each other on the cheek. And y'all know Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez was walking were, were hanging out with each other. Taylor Swift walks by and she was like, Yeah. <laughs> But that shit, oh, she was giving me all types of life last night. I was like, I don't like her, but for some reason, she was giving me life. I was like, girl, sit down. But at the same time, like, you are, girl, ooh. Yes, I was, I was, yeah, I was, I was giving life last night. That whole, it was just so much shade being thrown last night every which way. Um... Jennifer Lopez came out there dancing and everything. Booty still on deck. Thigh still on deck. But she should have took off them Elmo seat covers on her arm. That shit was just unnecessary. Pitbull ass. I know he was tired. And then they brought the dude from AHA. I was like, oh shit. They went back from that to the 80s with that shit. But you know what I'm saying? I was just like, oh man. I'm, I was just like, man. He, I know he was tired and just everything of that nature. But yeah, it was, it was good. But the performance that I was waiting on was Prince, honey. He went back with the natural fro he had on that green eyeshadow and that mascara. Honey, his face was beat and snatched more than these fucking females on the show itself. He was looking good. Came out there because I was like, I'm kind of tired of all this dance shit. I need some heavy metal in my life because that's me, the heavy metal lady. Girl, he came out there and he told it the fuck up. I was like, oh, let's get crazy. Oh, I love, I love Purple Rain. That was my fucking movie. Man, he just tore it up. And the thing about Prince that just, like, just, just, mm, he has nothing but females in his band. And I was just like, what? I mean, he turns the sexy up, the sexy up with everything he does. And you know that every one woman that Prince has been with says the sex was off the chain. Bitch, can I get a number? For real? Can I get the Prince dick on dick? I am not ashamed. But yes, y'all. That, that performance just killed everybody else's performance. I was just like, this is amazing. All I want, I was like, Prince, Prince, come out, Prince. It was great. So, yeah, I had a wonderful time on Twitter last night interacting with everybody. I'm thinking about having a Google Plus chat soon, so y'all look out for that. Um, and I'm going to have an announcement this week about the um, K-pop in the South um, project that I'm still doing. Don't worry about it. It's still going on. Probably either tomorrow, Wednesday, um, something that I that will share interest with everybody. But anyway, thank you for all the new subscribers, fam, that has followed me on Twitter and here on YouTube and things of that nature. Thank you so much. So you guys have a great day, and I love you, and talk to you later. Questions, comments below about the show. Tell me what you think. All right, then. Talk to you guys later. Love, peace, increase it. Bye.